I know that journaling is not our favorite thing to do, is it? And yet, if just this 10 minutes a day for six days gets this kind of result, and you say, but I don't know how to journal. I don't know what to write about. What's he asking me to do journal? I don't like journaling. To which I say, seven steps. <laughs> right outside of the fellowship hall, we've got these, these little sheets. It comes out of the book, Spiritual Power Tools by Jane Hart. It's just questions. Just answer them. Take 10 minutes. Take 20 minutes. Take 30 minutes about a person or a circumstance or a situation or your company or your church or your, you know, uh, your, something. And write down and answer these questions and release this energy. Write down how you felt what happened. This last week, when I realized I had this incredible, massive change going on in my consciousness where I thought I was on track X and spiritually I was supposed to be on track Y. And that it was, it was a challenge because it flew in the face of what I thought was good and true and beautiful. Because what, what brought you to this point really served you, but sometimes you've got to let go of it and try something different because you're balancing out your soul, because you've got something else you've got to work on. So what came up next, after I, I realized how disorienting it is to be in this new consciousness, was that I needed to do this. And I did this about six or seven times. I do this every week anyway. I mean, this is, this is an ongoing journal, journaling practice for me. I use the seven steps. But... I did it six or seven times. And one thing I noticed was this. If there was a relationship with somebody where I felt two things, stuck and or victimized, those are the two places I get, you know? And if I take the person up the seven steps, I don't feel victimized anymore because I can see that, as it says in uh, the book of Genesis, Joseph, you may have meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. I can start to see the purposefulness of certain things. I could start to connect the dots that I couldn't see him before. The second thing that happens is that I don't feel stuck anymore. I start seeing options. I, you know, often the reason why I'm stuck in a relationship like that is because I think I have no options. I feel like I'm absolutely victimized and stuck. But then when you release the energy, suddenly you start realizing there are options. And they start coming to you. It's your staying stuck in the old consciousness and the old energy that keeps you from seeing the options that were there all along.